A very good Tuesday morning to you. As you know, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday here on Why in the Morning. And as much as it's the festive season, we have a very special feature for you today. So with me in studio is someone who's going to be letting us know how to manage our events this festive season. Do you have a passion for event planning? Have, an atten have you ever attended an event and thought, wow, this has been well done? You'd like you, I'd like to take you through the process. And they're here with us to take you through the process of how this is done, especially this festive season. Is on Mambuzi, is on Bash, graduations, get togethers, all those events, how are they put together? And if you do have an interest in this particular field of work, this is the place to be this morning. My name is Hilda Wadidi. And if you do have any questions, make sure you slide into our DM. We're at Y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag is Y in the morning, hashtag YKilisha. On Facebook, we're at Y254. On YouTube, in case you miss any of the valuable insight here we're at y254 channel and on instagram we're at y254 underscore channel so you can also slide into our dm and let us know and ask the questions that you'd like to ask so make sure you do keep it here so with me in studio i would like to introduce Anne jerry who is the communications and marketing manager at divine schools africa which has been around for the past 14 years and this school in particular offers training in event management wedding planning flower arrangement and deco amongst other things so i will allow her to say good morning to you hello good morning my name as you said is Anjeri Nyambura mm -hmm. I'm the communication and marketing manager at Divine Schools Africa mm -hmm. and yes we've been here for 14 years mm -hmm. and still going on strong mm -hmm. yeah we would like to understand what gap did you identify in the market of events that you that that uh, Divine Schools Africa thought we should have a school entirely dedicated to event management and event planning well uh, back in two 2007 mm -hmm. when the director madam sue murioke mm -hmm. came back from the u.s she was in the industry back in the u.s mm -hmm. she had studied mm -hmm. wedding planning and events management back in the u.s when she relocated back home mm -hmm. and uh she uh tried to you know analyze because that's what the, that's a passion that she has that's mm -hmm. what she wants she wanted to do mm -hmm. and so she wanted to start her own company actually mm -hmm. she wanted to start her own company a wedding planning company kind of mm -hmm. thing because she started with gowns mm -hmm. all right so uh, she decided to, uh, a few of her friends approached her and mm -hmm. asked, can you please train us? Mm -hmm. There was no training back then. Yes. There was nothing in the events industry. People just used to wake up one morning and decide, you know what, why don't I be a wedding planner? Why don't I be uh, an event manager? Mm -hmm. And so she did some training to some of the friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, over time, the demand grew. Mm -hmm. And many more people kept coming back to her for training. Mm -hmm. And she thought, Oh my goodness, why don't I just start a school? Instead of me starting my own company, why mm -hmm. don't I just start a school and train people? Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of, there's a need for training mm -hmm. in this country, mm -hmm. in this sector. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how she decided to start a school. For event planning. For events planning and wedding planning as okay, well. Okay, you said that there's a need for people to learn how to, to, to plan events and what have you. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to understand your first event, because I know you've planned an event before. Your first event, can you tell us some of the pitfalls that you saw? Eh, hey, we, we did training for some of these things. Can you please let us know some of the pitfalls that you encountered or you saw happening with, uh, with other people that you saw bass? No, no, no. We need, to, we need people to go to school for this. Uh, well, um, there are so many uh, pitfalls that comes with planning an event because an yeah. event coming up in an event is a very, uh, very complex mm -hmm. thing to do. Mm -hmm. It involves a lot of you trying a lot of coordinating these very small but very very important aspects yes. of a, of, a pl of a of an event, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. So it needs you to be very well organized mm -hmm. and to be. To it's not easy to be organized mm -hmm. as an individual as well. No, oh, it's not easy. To it, be is, it is not <laughs> easy to be organized. I know you organize organizing other people mm -hmm. that you don't even have like c full control over yes. like if it's the catering you're organizing them but they have their own structure mm -hmm. if it's the pa if it's the cake if it's all these service providers you're organizing them okay. and you just have to balance them and every one of those aspects is very important we always say none of them is more important than the other. Mm -hmm. They are all important. I always say that an event is like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. If one piece is missing, or if one piece is misplaced, mm -hmm. then the whole picture doesn't, sh it doesn't come out clear, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. and, and so it's, it's 
being they, there was uh, people are not very well organized. They were mm -hmm. not able to coordinate all these things together. Mm -hmm. If you having everything else done, you realize the cake is missing. If you do this, the music, the music that this, you know, the CD that you told the people to play is not playing. Mm -hmm. You know, you they're waiting for the song to start. It's not starting. Mm -hmm. You know, all this. And there was a lot of disorganizations <laughs> in events. Uh -huh. You know, and mm -hmm. it's really and and actually the clients were the ones that were suffering. But mm -hmm. so speaking, mm -hmm. the clients also didn't know their rights. Mm. People didn't know their rights. So I mean, the clients also don't know their rights they when they also hire event don't planners. know their rights. Okay. You know, you are paying for something. You should get that. Mm. And that's why we even train people to do contracts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a legal binding document. We do a contract. You mm -hmm. do this. I pay you this, so that you know everything is done correctly, so that you don't disappoint one another. Okay. Yeah. I like the fact that you said that uh, managing events is like putting very many uh, different puzzle pieces together. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to take us through the catalog of the courses that you offer, because I noticed the courses that you offer both tie into all those different service providers. I even saw DJing somewhere there. So I'd like to understand how you guys narrowed down to this particular uh, fields of concentration. Well, uh, when we started, we basically did events management, mm -hmm. wedding planning, events mm -hmm. decor, mm -hmm. we, you know, flower arrangement and draping and all that. Mm -hmm. But then over the years, due to the market need and because we wanted to graduate entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. we decided to incorporate some of these courses, like the small business course, mm -hmm. so that if we are training you in events management, then mm -hmm. how can you turn that, that knowledge into a business? Oh, uh -huh. All right. So we, we incorporated other courses mm -hmm. to help you, you know, to graduate people who could most of our graduates are actually entrepreneurs out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So uh, we also uh, thought, how else can we train people who are involved in the events mm -hmm. so that wh whatever, whenever an event happens, mm -hmm. divine schools, if we were to go out and have an event as divine schools, we will have everything. Mm -hmm. We'll have a DJ, we'll have an MC. Ah. We'll have, you get it, right? Yes, yes. So yeah, we introduced courses like MCing. Yes, mm -hmm. MCing needs training, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Very interesting. Most yeah. people don't know that. I know. Mm. But, the, but the basic of all this is passion. Mm -hmm. We always tell you, you're coming, okay, the first requirement is passion. If mm -hmm. you read, our well, website. Yes. The first need is a passion. You have to have passion for that because mm -hmm. you can give up any time because mm -hmm. it's not that easy. It's quite stressful. Exactly. It's quite stressful. So that's why we decided to come up with all these other courses. Like we have the DJing, mm -hmm. we have MCing, mm -hmm. we have the small business. Mm -hmm. We introduced just the other day, it's called the high school exit course. It's mm -hmm. a, like a, we train the young people on life skills, mm -hmm. things to do with decision making skills. Mm -hmm. So you te you, the school tend to just diversify, diversify We just diversify, diversify as the market leads, as okay. the need arises, we look around and think, where else can we tap in? Since we are a vocational training mm -hmm. college, mm -hmm. where else do we tap in? How else do we help? Because we are trying to you know, impact the society and that's mm -hmm. why we're giving these courses that mm -hmm. will give you hands on skills. You mm -hmm. can start your own business, mm -hmm. you know, and most of our, of our students usually and unless the, the younger generation, the 20s to the 25, mm -hmm. we give them employment because we, we offer placements, we mm -hmm. help with job placements. Mm -hmm. But most of our, like I would say 75% of our students mm -hmm. are people who are the working generation. They're people who are already working someplace and mm -hmm. so what they want is to have a plan B. Oh. Yes, exactly. They want okay. to have a plan B. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and, and that's why I feel like we need to talk to the young people to venture into this industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can start your business as young as 22 and you never know. You, you're creative because this industry is about creativity. Mm -hmm. So if you tap in when you're still young and creative and vibrant and energy, it needs a lot yes, of energy. Yes, yes. If you tap in, then mm -hmm. you'll be able to grow mm -hmm. because there's a lot of learning mm -hmm. you know, that happens in the, if you don't learn, mm -hmm. you'll be left out. Which is interesting because yeah. I'd like to understand, uh, you put people from different disciplines together. What is it, uh, what is some unique information you can tell us uh, as Divine Schools Africa on the importance of teamwork? What is it that you teach about teamwork in your school that we, we, might, we might not find anywhere else? Well, um, being an event-based uh, uh, you know, school, mm -hmm. teamwork is essential. Mm -hmm. I mean... For you to come up with an event, you have to have a spirit of teamwork. Yes. Otherwise, if one person is lagging behind, mm -hmm. I mean, you better drop that person and pick another one that mm -hmm. will go with you. Because mm -hmm. you, by the end of the day, you being the, the probably the manager, mm -hmm. you are accountable to the client, mm -hmm. you know. And so you have to always uh, figure out a way on how to bring all 
all those people together, and also for the students, because mm -hmm. we have lawyers coming in, we have doctors coming in, we have marketers coming in. All those people, what the desire that brings them together, the common denominator mm -hmm. is they want to be entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. They have a passion. They want to. They have a passion for events, mm -hmm. and so that brings them together. Mm -hmm. And so they leave their lawyers behind. They they leave their doctor wherever behind, mm -hmm. and they come in as people who want to learn mm -hmm. and 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 you know pursue the the passion in mm -hmm. events management. And mm -hmm. I can tell you for a fact that the events industry has a lot of money running and circulating around. Also, there's a lot of money. There's that's a very lot of, important. It's a multi-billion dollar <laughs> event, I mean, industry. Mm -hmm. And that's why I would want to encourage the young people. Mm -hmm. Kujeni, you know, tap into this. Tap into just this position thing. yourself in the right place. Mm -hmm. And you will, you, will, you will earn good money, by the way. Interesting. Now we know we can earn some good money. All right, all right. I'd like to understand. Um, uh, uh, doing event event management is a very stressful process. So um, when it comes to dealing with pressure, the pressure of meeting deadlines, and what uh, what words can you give to those who are already doing it out there and those who intend to join in and they are not prepared for the amount of pressure? How do they deal? How do you deal with the pressure? What what uh, what do you tell your students when it comes to handling the pressure? Oh, well, um, yes, you are very right, Barbara. Mm -hmm. um, the events industry is a high pressure job. Yes. I mean, pressure for, uh, you know, uh, attaining your expectations of the client. Mm -hmm. There's a pressure of coordinating mm -hmm. and all that. And mm -hmm. actually, sometimes, you know, sometimes the client will go and Google something, what's trending in the events, you know, and, and get something from the US mm -hmm. of a wedding that happened of some song call somewhere. And, expect you to and pull then they it bring off, you yeah. that photo on their, on, their, on, their, <laughs> you know, on their phone and they tell mm -hmm. you, you know what, this is the theme I want. This is the color I want. This is the texture. You know, the texture you have to, to shake her so that you, you tell what texture. Yeah, okay. It's on the phone. And mm -hmm. then, like, this is the texture I want. So there's all those things and uh -huh. by the end of the day it's for you to satisfy this client mm -hmm. doesn't matter what the you know the expectations it's it's up to you to satisfy those so it's always we train them on how to bring down the client's expectations as in yes that is beautiful mm -hmm. but we can also do it this way and this will also be equally beautiful mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. so basically uh we we, we teach them how to also uh give in and because it's very time consuming mm -hmm. i mean uh, it takes around 200 hours mm -hmm. uh, on average to uh, you know, come up with an event mm -hmm. and a successful one for that matter mm -hmm. so give it enough time mm -hmm. and then Sit down and organize yourself, as in what, sit down and, and what do I need for this event? Mm -hmm. Who do I need to bring on board? Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And who you want to bring on board should be a person who you know will mm -hmm. deliver. Because mm -hmm. if they don't deliver, then that means you're also losing. Because if the cake person will deliver the cake, mm -hmm. this client won't go to the cake person. Mm -hmm. The person, the, you know, the client will come to you and mm -hmm. ask you, where is my cake? Mm -hmm. So it's you all know? in the organization. It's if you're organized, you'll, exactly. you'll take a lot out of that pressure. Plan, plan. Plan, plan, mm -hmm. plan, 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 plan. Mm -hmm. That's not what I say. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. Um, now, this is the season when people tend to have a lot of events and a lot of functions. It's Christmas time, New Year's is still is peeping. We're almost in 2019. And for example, I'm at home and I want to have a small get-together of about maybe 15 to, to 10 people just in my place. Can you take us through the process? If I hire you as an event planner for that event, what will, you, what will we do first? Will we start with a budget? How will we start? First of all, uh, what happens is you first of all have to have a meeting with the client. Mm -hmm. I need to come to you guys and ask you, mm -hmm. what do you have in mind? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Mm -hmm. what, 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 what picture do you have in mind for the event? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And then now we go to the logistics. Mm -hmm. We now look at if it's a cake, mm -hmm. what kind of cake do you want? Mm -hmm. uh, if it's the theme, do you need to decorate? If it's the house, do you mm -hmm. need decorated? Mm -hmm. And I will show you probably, because uh, some of the clients are blank. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they want. Yes. So for such clients, Clients, mm. you go with like a catalog of options. Yes, options so that mm -hmm. they're able to select and say, This is what I want. This, and then you advise them, Oh, mm -hmm. maybe because of your wall color, and now this one won't work. You know, you also advise this client, let oh. them know, mm -hmm. let, give them the best. Mm -hmm. You know, let them look and say, This is the best mm -hmm. that I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's basically, um, first of all, understanding what mm -hmm. you want mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. and then I uh, tell you what I can offer. And I also tell, we also tell our students, If you cannot do it, say you cannot. Ah, don't go and pretend that Please, you're if able you to cannot, move mountains. If, if, you, if you cannot do it, just mm -hmm. say plainly with your held, held high, I cannot do it. Thank you so much for wanting to give me, but I cannot do it. Because you don't so want to disappoint. Honest. It's better be honest than disappointing a client. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they will go to social media and put you in <laughs> bias, be aware. Yes, <laughs> it's yes, crazy. Beware, yes. yes mm. it's crazy. So mm. it, it's good to just 
sit back and say, you know what, that I cannot handle. Mm -hmm. Don't bite more than you can chew, yes, right? Yes. Just do things that you're able to. So it will be understanding what you want, mm -hmm. and then we walk every step of that event with you, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. This is what you, you want, this is the cake, mm -hmm. this is the decor that you want, and now we go to the budgeting. Mm -hmm. And the budget is always good to ask the, the client, what's your budget like, mm -hmm. what's your budget like? Mm -hmm. And then you're able to now go backwards and say, no, if your budget like this, we're open for this cake, mm -hmm. then is it okay if you go for this other cake? It's not a bad cake, it's just that it's this and this. And it's according to your budget. Exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. But I, I've come to, with, with a, growth in the industry people are willing to pay more mm -hmm. i'm telling you people are For willing value. to pay the ever increasing fee yes. as long as you deliver will yes. you deliver mm. that's the question will you deliver very interesting. I like the fact that you said there are people who are very willing to pay. But at the same time, uh, the individuals, most of the individuals that are willing to pay very high bucks are very demanding clients, very demanding. So how do you deal with a very difficult client, for example? Like I've seen, I've been seeing some shows like Bridezilla, and we have these brides who want their things done in a specific way, and they can be bullies, and the pressure also gets to them. So how do you deal with a very difficult client? Well, um, I would say uh, it's, it's first of all before you determine whether the client is difficult. The difficulty comes mm -hmm. when they're given so high demand. Like some of these things, some of these things you even need to import them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are not even available locally. Mm -hmm. And that's why for an event planner, you have to be well connected. Mm -hmm. Know your market, know where to get what, mm -hmm. you know, so that you don't find so many. Because <laughs> you find, if you're not well connected, all your customers will be difficult customers mm -hmm. because you don't know where to get what they want. Ah. You get it? So all your clients will be difficult they if will you be also difficult, don't know what you're doing. Know where, yes, <laughs> if I come and say I want this thing mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. don't know where to get it from, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll be a difficult customer isn't it yes, yes yeah so um it's about also knowing where to get things for the clients mm -hmm. but uh, as i said before if you know at the top of your head i cannot do this mm. watch another client or refer them refer Be them honest. to yes uh -huh. refer them to another person they oh you know what i cannot do it but hey mm -hmm. i can refer you to this and this person i know they can do it mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. so um Difficult clients are always there, mm -hmm. all right? And that's why we train customer care and how to stress management, emotional intelligence. Those are the kind of small things that we teach our, our students. Oh, EQ, you also have to do that. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, right. we, we help because we want, because we, we've been in the market, we understand, um. you know, what, what happens. So when we want to send you out, we don't want you to get there, you know, you're shocked, oh my goodness, everything, you know, it's hitting you. Like yeah, you, you, you thought you knew <laughs> what you were doing, but then the emotional part just I'm takes its own toll. I'm telling you, I'm uh -huh. telling you, it mm -hmm. becomes too much. So I I think it's about understanding the client and being very honest with the client. This mm -hmm. is what you want, I understand. Mm -hmm. But this and this and this cannot be done, mm -hmm. but we can offer this and this. And th but mm -hmm. if you can't do it, tell them, well, it will be, uh, your budget will have to increase. Mm -hmm. If I am to do this for you, if yes. I'm to give you this texture, your budget has to increase mm -hmm. because I'll have to impart them. You yes. know, I have to import them or I have to probably buy them at a higher price and so on and so mm -hmm. Just, it's about make it the reason why the customer is difficult because mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. guys have not understood each other. Oh, yes. There's, there's still some gaps. There's, some yes. chemistry there's chemistry. still some gaps. But if mm. you're able to know how to fill in those gaps, they, they will not be as, as difficult. as. But if you cannot do it, as I say, just don't do it. Don't disappoint a client. You know, we, in events we say there's never a second chance to do If it's a person's wedding, I mean, that's the first time they're going to, and the last time they're going the to have that wedding. The last time, yes, exactly. it's a once in a lifetime yeah, kind of so thing. Yeah, so if it's not flawless, mm. it's a failure. Mm. I mean, if you don't, if you don't deliver yes. in the first place, we would never get a check in sense. So if yeah. you cannot do it, say, my, I cannot do it, refer them to someone else. Mm -hmm. Or if you need extra, you know, don't, and I'll, again, I say, you cannot be, it's not a one-man show. Yes, you have yeah. to work with other people. If mm. you feel this, I cannot do alone, it's okay for you to reach out to your competitor. Mm -hmm. Yes, your competitor oh. and ask them to come on board. Mm -hmm. There's this big event that I have and I don't think I have the capacity to do it. So mm -hmm. would you mind coming on board and us doing it together as long as you have a contract, definitely. Ah. Contracts are important. Yes, <laughs> you must have some things in paper, the legal framework. I'm here. telling you, if mm -hmm. you don't do that, Utabaki kwa mata, let me use that word. And you, you have used your money and all sorts of things. And you your time, uh, and your time, I'm telling you. So you, mm. you have to, as long as there's an agreement, and of course maybe a past you know, a working experience with them, mm -hmm. you ask them to come on board and help you. Because mm -hmm. by the end of the day, if the client is happy, mm -hmm. when they have another event, who will they come to? That's true. Exactly, they will still come to you, so you're short of continued business. 
So it's about delivering. I like the fact that you've said that so long as the job is done, you do, don't even fear approaching your competitor so long as you do a good job. Interesting. So how do you measure the success of an event? How do you say this event was a success and this one was not really a success? What are some of the aspects that you look for when it comes to measuring the success? Well, I would say if, if for an event to be a success, mm -hmm. it means you translated, you very well translated the customer's expectations mm -hmm. into the event. Mm -hmm. So if, if, a, if a client says, I like this, mm -hmm. if you see a bright smiling all along, you know, oh, the you know yes, 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 as, <laughs> as an event, as a wedding planner, I would know the, 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 the client is happy. But mm -hmm. also there's something we encourage. After the event, always go back to the client, ask them, what did you think? Do an assessment. Exactly, do an assessment. Ah. What do you think? Mm -hmm. um, did I do a good job? And so mm -hmm. on and so forth. I uh, recommend, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to do that. So for, for an event to be called success, mm -hmm. it's about is the client happy? Because by the end of the day, y you gave me the job, yes. you know, mm -hmm. and you came with your expectations. Why expectations met? Mm -hmm. You know, are you happy? Mm -hmm. That's how you tell if an event was well. If it's, for example, a big event where you're having people coming on board and so on, are they contented? Mm -hmm. it, and if they are, then your event was a success. Because I see even uh, some events, I see there's a book where they allow people to write comments of what they thought about the event. So I think you're right. Maybe the assessments do come through. Okay, when it, let me go to something a bit more general. When it comes to the government and the support for this particular industry, what more can be done when it comes to event? Is it whether it's legally, what more can the government do to make it easier for people to get, to get into event planning? Well, I think the events industry is one of those industries where the government has has put like no hand in mm. uh, exactly it's free runs kind of mm. and i think uh especially for the training part of the of the events industry mm -hmm. the government should come in and help in curriculum development and mm -hmm. invest in that mm -hmm. so that we we because if you go to other countries mm -hmm. i mean it's a serious it's a serious it's industry a serious i'm telling Jezo, you it's yes. a profession just mm -hmm. like a lawyer doctor events management and wedding planner it's a mm -hmm. profession mm -hmm. all right and mm -hmm. so the government should come in and help with the curriculum uh development development and all that and the mm -hmm. resources mm -hmm. but another thing is also for us people in the industry is about mentorship mm -hmm. I mean there's no there's lack of mentorship and that's mm -hmm. where you see the young people mm -hmm. are not so m and if the young people are in the industry they're employed mm -hmm. <laughs> you know Whoa. they are the errands people you know running up and down mm -hmm. right and center oh there are people who young people who are in the industry work uh, as business owners mm -hmm. but most of them are employed mm -hmm. And so uh, we need mentorship so that I always say you, if you're working for in an event company, all right, maybe mm -hmm. you're the one who's been doing the tents. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's repeated five years and you're still there. Manzi, move, save, move out, start your own company and offer tent. You're already a profession in ah, that. So I mean, you already not have get the skill. Comfortable. Don't get comfortable. Mm. I mean, the, the cake is big. Everyone will get to share and, yes. and, and it's expanding. The mm -hmm. industry is, how many events do you know are happening this weekend, for hey, example? So many, so, I know so many. So uh -huh. many. And yes. I know people just wake up and decide, uh, let me start an event and mm. call it and mm. dab it, mm. you know, da 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 da. You know, yes, you, you yes. give it a funny name and yeah. then you, you give it to a particular hotel and uh -huh. you tell them, I'll have this event, uh -huh. I'll charge 5Gs, you mm -hmm. know, for every. You make money. That's true. Yes, you just need to get person of influence mm -hmm. to come over and mm -hmm. give us talk, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and, and people make money out of that. So the event industry has a lot of money. It and has the a young lot of people, money and a lot of potential. I really want the young people to come on board and tap because they have the energy mm -hmm. and very creative. Interesting. I like that. So um, if they want to find you on social media, if they would like to find more of Divine Schools Africa, where can they get you online? Uh, well, we are on Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, Divine Schools Africa, mm -hmm. uh, the same uh, for Twitter, the same for Instagram, mm -hmm. Divine Schools Africa, mm -hmm. schools with an S, mm -hmm. yeah, Divine Schools Africa on all our handles, mm -hmm. yeah. So if I plan to join this school in 2019, which, when is your intakes and uh, yes? So are we already receiving applications for mm -hmm. the January uh, 2019 uh, enrollment mm -hmm. so uh, you can visit our website you mm -hmm. can also do registration on our website mm -hmm. uh, you can also uh, you know we have numbers you can also call mm -hmm. you can come visit us we mm -hmm. are at Westlands Womini House second mm -hmm. floor West Wing mm -hmm. so yeah 
Great. Thank you so much for coming to studio today. And thank and you so Jerry. much for yes. having me. Yes, thank you so much for giving us that vast knowledge when it comes to event planning. Yeah, you guys don't wake up in the morning and just plan events. And now when you see events happening, you know a lot of work has gone into it. So let us know about how you're celebrating your events this festive season. And make sure you let Anne know. And if you do, if you have an interest in going to school and getting some training, make sure you do catch up with them. So Anne, I'd be very unfair if I did not allow you to wish the Y254 family a Merry Christmas. Okay, um, to all uh, our viewers uh, that are tuned in, thank you for tuning in to yes. Y254. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a fabulous, successful 2019. And may you pursue your dreams and your visions in 2019. Hey, yeah. interesting. However, I have been told with strict instructions, further instructions have come in and they've said, you must sing for us at Takamani Fair. Listen, I'll be dead. <laughs> yeah, sing that one. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't have a great voice like the first like guest. Like me, Mashafi, but <laughs> <I> you're <know>. good. <laughs> <laughs> but I try. Uh -huh. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Woo! No, you said you have a bad voice. Shame on you. You sound so good. <laughs> All right. Don't, don't go anywhere, Barry. Moses is coming up with some more of why in the morning. My name is Hilda Wadidi. Don't go anywhere.